Hello, welcome to part 11 of my best of App Lab series. So if you're not familiar with this series, in this video, I take a look at 10 of my favorite App Lab experiences that you can get right now for your Quest and Quest 2. Now, as always in these videos, I like to do some giveaways. Thanks to the generous devs of some of the games I feature in this video, I've been given some codes to give away. I've got one code to give away for the game Finger Gun and four codes to give away for the game Puzzle Tropicana. Both games are featured in this list if you want to check them out. So if you want to be in a chance with winning a code, all you need to do is comment in the comment section below. Let me know when this object appears in the video. So just give me the timestamp of when this object appears, as well as the code you'd like to be in with a chance of winning. And then in about a week's time, what I'll do is I will respond to your comment to let you know you've won. So make sure you check back on YouTube in about a week's time. Now, as always, I've got timestamps below so you can skip to a particular game if you want to. And I've also got in the description the playlist of this App Lab series. So if there's nothing here that catches your eye or you want to check out other App Lab games, you can head down to the description below, click on the link, and it will take you to all of the parts of this series, all the way up to this part, part 11. Sheesh, you ever clean up around here? Smells like something dumb. Our first game has just been released by Cleek Games. Now this is the same studio behind a couple of classic App Lab games that I've featured in my previous lists. These games are Rogue Ascent and Dragon Fist VR Kung Fu. They're both very much worth checking out. But this game is Coughing Rot Brewing Co. You own a tavern and your goal is to make as much money as possible serving the ghostly pirates that float in looking for a brew. Pour them the right colored drinks in time to earn pirate gold, but be careful of the skeletons and other beasts that just want to steal your hard earned stash. Thankfully, there are a range of weapons, traps, and items like power-ups at your disposal to dispose of the pilfering bad guys before they get a chance to rob you of your riches. You can use your money to extend your bar, unlock weapons, items, upgrades, and even change your hands. Each set of hands not only have their own look, but also have their own abilities that will change up the gameplay experience. I had an absolute blast with this game. It's polished and controls really well. It's a fun challenge trying to balance serving patrons with warding off enemies and collecting cash whilst maintaining your bar. Whilst it is a wave shooter, which is a genre that can feel stale after a time, there's a lot of items here as well as features, unlockables and boss encounters that keeps the experience fresh. There's also a welcome dose of humor included for good measure. And you broke it. Okay, no, 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 no. This is, this is fine. We'll just try another. For our next title, we have another wave shooter. This is Finger Gun, and it's what you might expect. You use your hands to make a gun appear in the game. No controllers needed. Your thumbs act like triggers, and to move, you can use your hand grapple to get from place to place, but you'll be stationary for much of the game. The premise is quite simple. Take on ways of deadly robots to help Doc Holliday claim his epic bounty. Now the robot enemies have different abilities as you might expect and get more difficult as waves progress. You'll also unlock new items, weapons and upgrades the further you get too. Now just like our previous game, Coffin Rock Brewing Co, this is a very polished experience with minimal jank. The visuals are on point too. It's always fun ducking and diving to avoid the bullet storm coming towards you and using your hands as guns never seems to get old. The hand tracking works pretty well once I get used to it. It's not a game that you'll need to have precise aim as there is some aim assist that will help you hit the targets which is just as well because you won't be able to achieve pinpoint accuracy with your gun hands.
we'll take a break from the guns for the moment and move on to something a bit more cerebral. This is Puzzle Tropicana and it's all about doing both mental and physical puzzles while you get to chill on a desert island. There's plenty of puzzle challenges to complete and they are highly diverse from simple stacking physical puzzles to more complex brain teasers. You have to simply try to complete the puzzles as quick as you can for the best score. Now I really, really enjoyed this one. The physics work well so there's minimal frustration when you're trying to do things like stack objects. And while some puzzles are quite easy, there's a fair amount of head scratches in there too, particularly with the most difficult challenges shown by the higher chili count. Every puzzle is different, some are similar like stacking challenges, but there's always some differences in there that keep each challenge unique. Now this is a nice casual puzzler that will keep you engaged with each new challenge and if that sounds like your type of game then I do recommend checking it out. Hi, it's me, Ollie. Now the next one is also great for more casual gamers or even those of a younger audience. So in this game you get to join Ollie the Ox in over 20 levels of throwing action. You fling fruit to hit targets as quickly and as accurately as you can to get the best score and try to achieve three stars for each level. The physics of throwing worked well and I enjoyed the bright colourful environment along with Ollie three, who cheers two, you on. One. Let's play. It's a simple game that you can run through in about 30 minutes to an hour but it's a good price and it can be quite addictive trying to get those high scores for each of the stages. Okay, now back to the gun games. This next game is Tower Tag. It's a PvP shooter and completely free. There's three main game modes. There's the standard deathmatch mode, the elimination mode where the game restarts only once one team has been eliminated by the other, and a capture the base mode where you score points by capturing the opposing team's starting location. You move around by grappling onto various platforms of different height. Each platform has a tower that you need to change to your team color before you can move. Now this takes a little time to change the colour of the tower, which makes you vulnerable to the enemy whilst it's in progress. The towers also provide cover when you're engaging in a shootout across the arena. Now I had so much fun with this game. Like all games I've looked at so far, the mechanics work well. Shooting, grappling, moving, all feels really smooth and intuitive. Ducking behind a tower, trying to pick off your opponent while planning your next strategic move across the map. Coordinating your efforts with the team just really gets your adrenaline going. It's a fast paced PvP action at its finest. Now it is a multiplayer game so how much fun you have with it all depends on if others are online and who is playing with you. But if you can get together a good group you'll have such a good time I guarantee it. Otherwise the game does have bots too, so if you can't find anyone online or you just want to practice, it can also be played in a single player mode. Bang Bang Slice is our next game. It's another freebie and it feels a bit like the game Super Hot. So you have an objective on the level such as assassinating the VIP or escaping with the loot. And here's the interesting thing, you progress through the level by killing enemies and grabbing their weapons. Taking an enemy's weapon will transport you to where they are standing, transport you to their location and you really have to be strategic in who you kill and what weapons you take as you can go down the wrong path and get stuck and need to restart the level. Time slows when you're being shot at, which allows you to make some matrix type moves to avoid getting hit. Now there are currently 32 levels in this game with different objectives and over 34 weapons to play with, so there's a massive amount of content here, especially for a free game.
This game is honestly really good. If you're a super hot fan, I think you'll enjoy it too. It presents a nice level of challenge and keeps things fresh by mixing it up with the different combat scenarios and weapons. What I can say is give it a go for yourself, it's completely free so there's nothing to lose. Sparkball Pool is a free pool game that gives you a realistic pool experience and done really well. You start off in this bar filled with all kinds of interesting stuff and you also have this wheel where you get a chance to win money to play with. The game itself can be played online or against other AI opponents. It has nice visuals, good physics and other features you might expect like being able to put spin on the ball. Using the cue is simple and intuitive, the only real negatives I found was sometimes moving around could be a bit awkward. Also I couldn't turn off the arrows showing where the ball is headed, which would be nice to have the option to turn it off if you wanted more of a challenge. Otherwise this is one of the better pool games that I've played in VR and is completely free, so in my opinion it's definitely worthy of a download. Getting a bit more strategic now, and we have Battle Group VR. Now, there's a lot to this game, so I'll try my best to cover everything. It's a real time strategy game with spaceships. You can control the action from a hollow map or choose to pilot a ship from the fleet yourself. Ships are purchased as you progress through the game, and they have their own abilities and can be reconfigured and upgraded. Ships have their own captain too, which you assign, and each captain has their own abilities. There are a lot of strategic elements to this game, and you have to make the right calls if you want to be successful. For example, pairing the right captain with the right abilities and experience with the right ship can give you the edge that you need in combat. But that's of course not the only element of strategy, there are a lot of elements that go into being successful in combat. Positioning your ships, for example, to take advantage of a weak point in the enemy's ship's shields can help you win a battle. There is also the ability to target certain subsystems, like weapons, to decrease the enemy's firepower, or target their engines to slow them down. And you can adjust your own systems in your own ship to help turn the tides of the battle. For example, if your shields are being depleted, you can put more power into them, with the trade-off being that other systems receive less power. Or if you want to finish off your enemy fast, you could put your weapons on maximum power to give you full firepower, but that also makes you vulnerable to your attack as you have less power that goes into your shields and your engines. Your ships also gain experience with each battle that improves their abilities, so you want to make sure you don't lose your most experienced ships, because that can really cost you in the long run. Oh, and there's multiplayer and co-op modes too, in addition to the single player mode. Now there is some more, but I'll just leave it there for now. All I can say is I love this game, especially as a fan of Star Trek, it was an awesome experience to be sitting in your flagship, commanding your fleet, while playing with your ship's systems to help give you the edge in combat. It's just an epic experience, not only to command the battle, but be in the battle at the same time. Highly recommend it. So this next game, District M, is actually a demo. I try not to include too many demos in this app lab list unless I feel that the demo is really something special and that people will enjoy and this definitely falls into that category. So it's a platformer, a rhythm game where you're skating in the third person. You have to swing your arms to glide from side to side. To jump you just press a button and you can even drift. Now while you can play this game both third person and first person, 
want to say it makes the best use of VR. I feel this is a game that could be played on flat screen too. But what I really enjoyed about this is the movement mechanics. Just swinging your arms to drift, to glide, and to turn actually works really well. And you just get a great feeling when you're moving in time to the rhythm. I did like the music. I also love the bright, colorful, vibrant environments and the fact that it's a fairly unique game. I don't think I've played anything quite like this in virtual reality. So overall, it has a good soundtrack, nice level design and fun movement mechanics that I think you'll enjoy. It will take you about maybe half hour to an hour to complete the demo. And I really look forward to seeing how this one progresses. Now onto something a bit different now. This is Omega Pilot or Omega Pilot and it's a futuristic racer that looks similar to the Wipeout series of games. Now you have to excuse me because I had a problem with recording this one so I'll have to use the trailer and gameplay footage to show you. You take control of a customizable racer from inside the cockpit and fly through 11 futuristic tracks competing with other players asynchronously to get the best times. The cockpit just feels great, it's very interactive and gives you a nice sense of immersion. Racing will also have you on edge of the seat as this game gives you a real awesome sense of speed. It can be a challenging game at times and just be aware that if you suffer from motion sickness you might want to give this one a miss as it can get intense. Otherwise this is a fantastic futuristic racer that really immerses you in the game and makes you feel like you're piloting a racing ship from the future. So what do you think of those App Lab games? Were there any in there that caught your eye? Remember, if there weren't any that really interested you much, you can also check out my previous parts linked in the description below. They cover a range of different App Lab games. I've got 11 parts so far, so that's over 100 App Lab games that I've listed that I think are great free and paid experiences for your quest. Remember, if you do like the video, to give it a thumbs up. And if you love your quest, you like this kind of content, you might also want to consider subscribing to the channel if you're not subscribed already.